have uh, Li Ying Sui, who is Director of the Asia Regional Artemia Reference Centre and Vice Dean of the College of Marine Science and Engineering, Tianjin University of Science and Technology, and Song Gao from the China Artemia Association. Uh, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you for your introduction. Um, now I would like to share you some information on the use of Artemia cysts in the hatchery in China. Uh, I'm sorry, your microphone is muted. Hello? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So um, um, the aquaculture production in China has accounted for uh, two thirds of the global uh, aquaculture production. So it's not a surprise that China has the, world, the, the world's largest market demand. China annually consume around 1,700 metric tons of dry Artemia products which account for 50% of the global Artemia production. So if we look at um, the Artemia cysts demands by the aquaculture species, we can see that uh, almost uh, 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 three fourths of uh, uh, Artemia cysts goes to the shrimp hatchery, mainly the panace shrimp, little panace vename and about 15% of the cysts goes to the macrobrahim and Chinese midden crab, uh, Irohir sinensis, and also about 10% of cysts uh, goes to the marine fish, for example, the groupers and the solia uh, larvae culture. And more recently, uh, a demand has also uh, acquired by the uh, snail and also the large mouse um, bus uh, larvae culture. So over the decades, the status of the demands of the Artemia cysts uh, in China also has changed uh, from the seasonal requirement to the year-round requirement. And the, may, the main reason have also shifted from only south, for example, the Hainan province, the Guangdong province, and also the Fujian province, to the all over the China, the coastal line province, for example, um, uh, except for the south, also uh, the province in the north, the Shandong province, the Hebei province, and Tianjin city. And also the uh, hatching facility and also hatching techniques uh, for Artemia cysts have also uh, been significantly improved. Um, as you know that um, Artemia, different Artemia cysts has their own characteristics in terms of biometrics uh, parameters, uh, the nutritional value and hatching performance from the different oranges. So there is also, uh, in fact, in China, a specific demands for the Artemia cysts from different oranges. Uh, according to the requirements of aquaculture species, for example, uh, marine fish larvae, they need Artemia cysts with uh, better separation between the shells, the nuclei, and unhatched cysts. In this aspect, the Artemia cysts produced, uh, harvested from Tibet salt lakes, from a Russian uh, salt lake, Ibiet, has have a very good performance. And also Macrobrahim larvae, they prefer the faster swimming Artemia Nuclei, for example, the Artemia cysts from Bohai Bay uh, are preferred by the owner of the Macrobrahim Brahim hatchery, hatcheries. And also according to the hatching performance of the cysts, the Artemia cysts that can uh, tolerate higher hatching temperature are favored in the summer, for example, in, uh, in the summer in, in the southern part of uh, um, uh, China, for example, in Hainan province, and also the Artemia cysts that can tolerate lower hatching uh, salinity are favored by the region where only low, very low salinity seawater are available 
uh, in the in a certain season. Of course, better separation performance are always performed uh, are preferred by the hatchery. And also the nutritional quality, especially the uh, EPA content in the artemia uh, cysts and the nuclei are also uh, paid more and more attention, particularly in the marine uh, fish hatchery. But unfortunately, there is uh, usually no uh, intention for the nutritional enrichment in China nowadays. Okay, so um, when we talk about the hatching operation of the Artemia cysts in China, um, we talk about, uh, first we talk about within the hatchery, the, uh, the operation within the hatchery. So most of the time the cysts are purchased by the hatchery and they hatch the cysts 24 hours before uh, the larvae uh, they, they used to they, they used the uh, the nuclei to feed the larvae. So there are different kinds of hatching facilities uh, for smaller scale, uh, 500 liter, or bigger scale, uh, two uh, two thousand liter or, or five thousand liter, or also can be hatched in the concrete tanks. So the hatching can be done in general. Uh, direct hatching, just put the cysts in the seawater, or it can also be done. Um, it, it can also be conducted after the disinfection and also the decapsulation. Of course, the purpose of the, decaps uh, the disinfection is to limit the possible pathogenic paso uh, contamination uh, in the larvae culture. And for the control of the hatching condition, and the, temp the temperature usually, uh, hatching temperature usually range from 22 to about 30 degree. Uh, if it's beyond this range, then the heating or cooling facilities are provided in the hatchery. Illumination is not necessarily given unless it's very dim inside the hatchery. So about the hatching operation, there's another way to operate the artemia, uh, to hatch the artemia nuclei. So we call it artemia, artemia nuclei hatchery. It, it's a new uh, business mode, in fact. The artemia nuclei are produced by the specialized company and the company uh, normally is situated nearby the hatcheries, the shrimp hatcheries or the fish hatcheries. And this kind of business started from 2005 in the south part of China. And nowadays it's spread everywhere, uh, all over the China. And it's annually produced about 500 to 1000 metric ton nuclei biomass uh, with consuming about 150 metric tons of dry artemia cysts. And this business accounts for about 50 to 80% of total artemia nuclei demand in China. And the nuclei are sold in fresh with a very low, uh, uh, with lower uh, density, about half to, uh, uh, to one kilogram white weight per uh, 10 to 20 liter or in the uh, frozen uh, way, frozen product. There is advantage and disadvantage of uh, operating this artemia hatching, uh, artemia nuclei hatchery. And the advantage is that we can use all kinds of artemia cysts, no matter it's in low quality or high quality, no matter it's in dry products or in wet products. And also the hatching are operated by the professionals and therefore it has a more uh, efficiency and also this kind of hatchery service to a small or medium size of a fish or shrimp hatchery and in this way to uh, reduce the cost for the labor and facility uh, cost in these hatcheries. The disadvantage of this hatchery is that usually the artemia nuclei are uh, harvest uh, to Insta3 and or even later uh, in order to get 
higher uh, hatching operate uh, output the production higher production but in this way it increased the risk of pathogen contamination and also reduce the energy value and also nutritional value of the nuclei so this is the disadvantage of the Artemia nuclei hatchery and uh, now I would like to share information about how to uh, separate the Artemia nuclei with the cysts uh, shells. Um, so in China, normally we have a normal separation, like everyone, uh, I think most of hatchery um, used uh, all over the world. I will not repeat this, but uh, in China nowadays, um, the separation can also be improved by adding some chemicals to facilitate the separation. So we first also, after at the end of the hatching, the, we turn off the lights and stop the aeration. But at that moment, we add some chemicals. It can be uh, hydrogen peroxide, or it can be also sodium percarbonate at a fi uh, five ppm. So uh, 10 more minutes later, the shells and the hatched cysts and the embryos uh, membranes are floating up to the surface and then we collect the, the nuclei. So from this uh, picture, you could see that at your right hand, it's the um, hatching uh, we, uh, before adding the uh, hydrogen peroxide. Afterwards, to your left uh, hand, you will see that there is a very good separation comparing to the one that uh, before we adding the uh, hydrogen peroxide. So uh, with this picture, you will see uh, more in details so that a good separation can be uh, obtained by adding chemicals. Next, please. So the next two slides, I'd like to share you some information about the uh, harvest of Artemia cysts in China. And this data were obtained from the uh, China, uh, uh, Artemia Association of China. So in, in fact, China can annually produce, uh, harvest about 1,200 to 1,500 metric tons, tons of raw products. Um, ex uh, with an exceptional uh, year of uh, in, in 2016, where um, the Abbey Lake, the one of the major salt lake in China, they produced the extraordinarily large quantity of Artemia cysts. So normally we produce about uh, uh, 1,200 1, to uh, uh, 1,500 metric tons of raw Artemia cysts. Meanwhile, China also annually produce about 800 to 1,200 metric ton dry Artemia products. So it means that we need to input, uh, to import some roses from the other countries. Next, please. So this uh, table shows you the Artemia seeds import uh, from the other country, from Russia, from Kazakhstan, and from uh, Uzbekistan. So we are the largest importer of the Artemia seeds. Uh, uh, annually, we import about 2,000 to 3,000 metric ton raw Artemia seeds. And of course, we also uh, export uh, a certain amount of the final products to the other country, to the Vietnam, to uh, Malaysia, to Thailand, it is about 400 to 600 metric tons. So alternatively, the Artemia, there are also some other Artemia products applied in the hatchery. So first is the decapsulated Artemia cysts. Uh, there are two kinds of cysts can be decapsulated. First is the low quality cysts, uh, low hatching quality Artemia cysts. So they are, after decapsulation, they are sold in dry products to mostly to the ornamental fish market. Uh, and also, there are also another operation for the normal hatching quality cysts. There are certain amount of this kind of cysts are processed as the decapsulated cyst product by a special licensed company. And 
they are uh, preserved very well in a cold condition and sold in white products to the hatchery. Well, when uh, in the hatchery, in the shrimp and fish hatchery, they will continue hatch these decapsulated cysts to the Artemia nobliae. Next, please. So the last but not the least, I would like to also mention about the utilization of Artemia biomass in the Chinese hatchery. So in China, uh, around 100,000 metric tons of Artemia biomass are yearly harvest, harvested from the uh, coastal salt ponds and also from inland salt lakes. And the Artemia biomass are produced in forms of frozen biomass uh, fresh biomass, and also in some mainland province also produced in air dried way. And all this biomass, the frozen biomass are sold as feed for pet fish, uh, uh, for pet fish and also for the shrimp nursery and broodstock mat maturation, and also as a formulated feed ingredients. So I thank you very much for your listening. Thank you.